Okay, my friends. Namaste. It's Mirabai here. Hello. Sending pranams and love to all of my dear students at JCC and beyond. Maybe some people will watch this that don't even normally come to my classes. I'm not sure. But uh, being that Monday, today at 9.30, Wednesday 9.30, my regular class, I felt called to offer an online video so that you can keep some continuity with your practice. These are extremely <laughs> tumultuous times. I came back from Mexico. We had a beautiful retreat in Sayulita. Several of the students from JCC were with me. Dear Belly and Sarah and Pamela. And I just also want to have a quick hello to Marty and Lester and Craig and Jason and Xiao Ching and our beautiful son Billy. Both Diane's and Robin and our staff. We have two Pamela's in class and Anya and Sarah and Belly and Sunny. Uh, I miss all of you and everyone else. <laughs> Namaste. So yeah, it is very important in times like this. Um, I did spend most of my day running around and making sure I have enough food. And we need to be realistic now with um, the sheltering in place. Seems very important. And, you know, the ancient yogis always saw that. They lived in caves, you know. They always saw it as an opportunity to drop more inward. I personally am also taking the time to do some clearing and cleansing in my space and also to spend a lot of time more inward. And what helps everyone, you know, sit in a more kind of meditative place, seat is the asanas. Like the physical practice was developed so that people could sit comfortably you know, in their own skin <laughs> and sit and meditate for long periods of time. So I thought I'd start with a chant. Um, this is from one of my yoga teacher's books. It's called The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. And this is a translation of the book. There's many different translations from Swami Satchidananda. Um, I trained in his lineage um, through integral yoga. So when you take my classes at JCC, you are getting... Uh, some integral yoga for sure, and a blend of Ashtanga. Yay, my power just came back on. <laughs> my power's been out today. So this is a good sign. Okay, so I'm hoping this isn't backwards. We're going to chant Yogas Chitta Vritti Nirodaha. It's the second sutra of Patanjali if it's backwards. In the video, I apologize. So from the privacy of my own home and from my heart to yours, let's chant it call and response. I'll leave a little blank after each word. Yogas Chita practices help us find balance and some inner peace and stability at this time. This Yoga Sutra, which is a thread of yoga philosophy, translates to quieting the mental house, <laughs> quieting and calming the disturbances of the mind, okay? Finding peace within, even though everything is extremely chaotic at this time, especially when we first get news of a three-week kind of shelter-in-place situation. 
So the mind can go pretty frenetic with that. And I was at Good Earth in Mill Valley and it was completely frenetic. Yet I exchanged some sweet smiles and I was still breathing and I was conscious of what I was doing the best I can holding my ground. So that's this sutra. Can we slow down the mind stuff? Slow down these fluctuations so we can stay more grounded and in ourself. This is what yoga is about. This is the entire science of yoga. So with that said, um, I'm going to guide us through a few poses. So I'm just going to move my harmonium here. <laughs> and bear with me, I am doing this from the privacy of my own home in Tam Valley. And I do have some neighbors. Again, my electricity just went back on, so you may hear uh, some different sounds. Okay. So let's begin on hands and knees. If you do have a mat, I laid out two mats because I'm going to be moving in different formations. Um, I also have two of my own personal blocks. If you don't have your own blocks, this could be an awesome opportunity to invest. I tend to use these Clever Yoga because this company uses recycled foam and they're kind of schnazzy, right? And then also my own personal strap. If you don't have those things, you don't need it. It's fine. So I'm going to invite you to come to hands and knees. You can shift onto all fours. Right. And I bring my wrists right under my shoulders, my knees right under my hips. I'm going to tuck my toes and round my back into a cat-like position. I bring the chin to the chest, draw the belly button in. Inhale, relax your belly, lift the chest, gaze slightly upward. Exhale, round the spine, pull the navel in and up. Inhale, relax the belly. Take a few more at your own pace. So I'm really lifting navel to spine and chin to chest. I let my whole back area stretch out. And inhale, fingers spread wide. Exhale, lift, 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 belly button in. Then relax. And we'll take the knees apart. Take the knees about as wide as the mat. Let the big toes touch. Pull back to what we call child's pose or balasana. You can take the arms forward, bring the brow to the mat, soften your jaw, take three big breaths here. See if you can lift your back with breath as if your kidneys were your lungs. Big inhale. And we can slowly come back up face you for this one. We'll stay on hands and knees. Sometimes I pad my knees if I need more padding. Bring my left hand in front of my face. Take the right arm up towards the sky. A couple big circles with your arm. Open up the shoulder. If you have any shoulder issues, you can micro bend your elbow. Breathing and moving energy. Inhale up with the arm. Exhale down and reverse the direction nice and slow on your shoulder kind of like a swimming action as if we were in the pool and then we'll take what's called thread the needle posture so i take that right arm up again and i'm going to thread the arm under my left arm and bring my shoulder down to the earth and lengthen my head neck and i'm going to push into the earth some people like to lift left arm behind and you can hold your inner right thigh and then draw the chest up towards the sky. So there's a rotation in the upper spine, upper thoracic. My big toes are still touching and I'm rooting my feet. If you have any shoulder issues, keep the left hand on the earth. One more breath here. And then again, consciously come back up. You wanna keep that consciousness in the transitions of the poses as well as the asanas themselves. So right hand directly under your face. All right, ground the knees, left arm up, take a big circle. One, two, three, other direction, big circle, maybe a micro bend in the elbow if you have any shoulder issues. Two, three, thread the needle, left arm under, that arm is nice and straight. Come down gently onto the shoulder, see if your head can make it to the earth. Long neck, right arm up. And behind you, if you can, hold your inner left thigh and twist this top shoulder back. Okay, and again, if that's too much weight on the bottom shoulder, 
you bring the right hand down. One more breath. And a slow unwinding, okay, back to hands and knees. And then we'll take our first downward facing dog. So I'm gonna spread my fingers out evenly, root into the earth, inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your hips up and back into an inverted V posture. And go ahead and pump through the legs a little bit. It's nice to massage the feet. I'm bending one knee at a time, bicycling the legs. You can watch your spacing. Create a nice space for yourself to practice at home. You can lift your right leg, bend the right knee. Circular action for the hip. Feel the femur bone moving in the hip socket. Then the other way, a little circle. It's really nice to get mobility in there without bearing weight. And then I'll draw knee to the nose, nose to the knee, round my back into cat, and hold for three. I'm trying to touch forehead to my knee. <laughs> Two. And on one, we'll step that right foot forward. Good, this is a lunge. I'm gonna check that my feet are hip distance apart. Lift the chest, pull right arm back, left arm back, hold your weight. Shoulders are pulling back, belly in. Nice and strong through the legs and I'm trying to open up my neck by really pulling my shoulder girdle back. One more breath. And then hands come down, step back a plank, push up position, lift from the belly, shoulders over wrists. I'm pushing the floor away, heels back, chest forward, and then lower gently, knees, feet are gonna stay down, chest and chin on the ground. Inhale, scooch forward into what we call low cobra, Bhujangasana. feels so good, shoulders back, exhale, right ear to the mat, Inhale, lift, head, neck, chest. Left ear to the mat. Inhale, lift. Really pull the shoulder girdle back to the ribs. I'm engaging my core. We're gonna push back to down dog. Use your knees if you need. Up and back. And we'll take a lion's breath. Inhale through the nose, stick your tongue out. Ha, <sighs> <sighs> maybe even a little sound. So the fingers and toes are really spread out. Feet are hip distance, hands shoulder distance. Left leg to the sky. Bend the left knee, circle the knee slowly. Three times each direction. Head can relax, neck can relax. Other way, three circles. One, two, three. All right, and then I'm gonna bring my knee to the nose, nose to the knee, and I push into the floor and I'm lifting my abdominals, or what we call Uddiyana Bandha, knee to nose, three. Breathing, two. Step through, and if you need to, you can bring your right knee down first and help pull the left foot through. Otherwise, step through. Just wanted to show one more option. Feet hip distance, we call this runner's lunge, and I've got that lift of my chest like the cobra pose. Pull both arms back. Hover above the earth, use your leg strength, and lift your chest, shoulders back. Three, excuse me, deep breaths here. Two, and breathing slowly, hands come down, step back, push up position, lift your belly, and lower, knees, chest and chin. It's nice and slow, it's a good way to build arm strength. Inhale, baby cobra, and then one more time, right ear to the mat, rest. Inhale, little cobra, left ear down, rest. Inhale, back up, good, tuck the toes, back to down dog. Five quiet breaths here. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. I'm really pushing my weight back into my legs for three. four, and five. Step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold in what's called Uttanasana. So you could either clasp your hands and take your arms up. Or sometimes, again, I'll grab my strap, even just a little bit, and I'll lift my arms. I wrap the strap around my hands, and I take my arms up and overhead. 
My feet are hip distance. I'm pulling my arms up. You could bend your knees if your hamstrings are tight or go for straight legs and breathe here. Sometimes upside down, I like to move my head just a tiny bit side to side. Free up the cervical spine. Slowly release, bend your knees. When your head's below your heart, you come up slowly, root into the earth, and inhale, up we come. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> so it's interesting to practice while I am sharing. Okay, so we're gonna bring the hands to the heart. Just find Tadasana. More important than ever to really ground. Ground into the earth, ground into yourself. Feel free to play some uh, grounding music. And feel free to pray. Send out a little prayer or intention for your health, for your well being. That the precautions we're all taking really minimize the impact of this virus. May our <clears throat> minds stay healthy. Yoga, Chitta, Vritti, Narodaha. So we'll take Sun Salute A. I love my beautiful mala, <laughs> but I am gonna move it off to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to the top of my other mat. I've got two mats here. Make sure you can see me from the side. And in Surya A, I start with my hands in prayer. These are the Sun Salutes. It's a, a major tonic for your body. Helps move a lot of energy and warm up for the other poses. So I'm gonna lift my arms, inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, gentle fold over your legs. Inhale up halfway, stepping back. Let's take a step, holding a plank position. I lift my belly and heels back, chest forward. Lowering chaturanga halfway down or all the way down. Inhale, cobra again or upward facing dog. Lift your thighs, tuck, you can use your knees. Tuck the toes, pull back down dog. Five slow breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Last big breath, bend your knees, step or hop, okay, top of the mat, take a fold. Rise up, and the idea is we're pulling on the light. Beautiful day today. And we collect that light and we bring it right to our heart. Let me face you for one more round. So inhale, I sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow over your legs, release your head. Inhale up halfway, and if you don't hop back, you can step back to a push-up. Lower, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or your up dog. Lift the chest, tuck the toes, pull back, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Feel your body, feel the muscles really engaged. They're supporting your bones. One more breath here. Deep bend of your knees, step or hop lightly, top of the mat. Inhale up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale fold, full Uttanasana. We rise up, reach up and back and connect again to your heart. I'm going to scooch this back just a tad and see if that helps. So, oh, maybe not. Maybe. Okay. So I'm doing this a little on the cuff. <laughs> and I have some friends that are going to help me whew, make some more professional videos. But this one's fully from my heart. I think it's really important that we practice. And when I heard JCC was closed for a few weeks, Heather, one of the staff members, gave a shout out to whoever wanted to make a video. So maybe this can hold you off till we make some more. So again, really key to match our asana practice with what's going on. 
Balancing practices can be really helpful. So I was gonna suggest that we just wing our arms out to the side, parallel the arms, relax your shoulders, lift navel in and up. Go ahead and bend your right knee and lift. If it's available, this is more like a crane position. If you can do it, go ahead and straighten that leg and point through the toes and lift your arms and focus on one point for three. Breathing and lifting for two. And we'll take this right into tree, Vrikshasana. Foot can be on the thigh, shin, or to the foot, ankle. I, I like to work on this inner thigh. And with my foot, I draw this inner thigh back, abdominals in, lift the arms comfortably, relax your shoulders. Five steady breaths. to the heart slowly. Again, the transitions matter. Move consciously back into Tadasana. Ground. Feel the pose. Inhale, lift from your abdominals. Go to bend your left leg. I may be your opposite here. Okay. Wing the arms out. Navel in and up. Drop the shoulders. Okay. It's going to be okay. Drop the worry. Drop the extra fear. Plug deeper into your inner strength, okay? So you can stay in crane, or we're gonna lift the arms and straighten this leg. Try to keep your body upright. See if you cannot lean back. Point and activate the toes. Steady eyes for three. Lifting from the core for two. Keep the balance, good for bone density in the standing leg. Place the foot accordingly, same side. So if you use the shin, use the shin. Otherwise, inner thigh again or ankle, arms out wide. Feel that steadiness like a tree. Clear eyes. Steady breaths. Feel that strength inside. And again, hands pull in slowly and we reground. Pull the energy right into Tadasana. Take a pause. One chant of Om. Surround yourself in a protective bubble, your aura of healing light, picture it. Hold that throughout the day if you can. Big inhale. So now we'll look at what's called Sun Salute B. It's a little more involved. I'm gonna step to the top of the mat. You'll see me in a sec, cause I'm gonna take chair. <gasps> Ukatasana, touch the earth, lift your arms, biceps to ears. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale up halfway, step or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana or knees, chest, chin, remember? Inhale, low cobra is fine or your up dog. We pull back again from our abdominals to down dog. Look up between your hands, step or help pull, right foot forward, back heel down, Vera one, warrior one, heel to heel in your alignment. Exhale, back to the earth, plank or three-legged plank, right leg would lift, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra or up dog, it's a little more strong. Pull back from your abdominals, down dog. Look up between your hands, step or again, I'm gonna demonstrate pulling that left foot forward. I use my arm to help. Back heel spins down. Inhale, up we come. Vira, one. Drop the shoulders, sink in. Great for the hip flexors. Arms engaged, eyes engaged, breath engaged. Tapping into your strength. We all need a little more of that right now. Step back plank, lower again, chaturanga or knees. Low cobra, I love this one. Great for your posture. The shoulder girdle's going back. Pulling back. Your choice, child's pose, yogi's choice, or your down dog if you wanna stay more active. Five breaths together, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. 
Inhale. Exhale, four. Last big breath. Such a great pose. Step or walk, top of the mat. One more time. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Sometimes I like to bring the legs a little closer together for chair, especially if you have knee issues. We'll draw the legs in, touch the earth, take your ukatasana, and then we'll take this one into a twist. I'm gonna turn sideways. I'm gonna sit back in my chair. I'm gonna take my left elbow outside the right knee, hands into prayer. Think of something you're grateful for in this moment. I'm grateful for everyone that's gonna see this homemade video. <laughs> And I'm going to press into my hands and I'm going to spin my ribs to the right. Another nice option is to open the arms. You could have a block there or just connect right onto the earth. Sitting low, level sacrum, best you can. Exhale, fold, relax the neck. Gentle shake of your head, yes, no. Maybe one of these, my students know. It's a lip trill, okay? Like you're giving a raspberry to a baby. Deep bend of the knees, great for stress relief. Inhale, lift up. The more stress we can let go, the better it is for our immune system, right? So right elbow outside the left knee, one more time. Hands into prayer, I'm gonna squeeze into my belly. I just worked ascending, now the descending colon. Or if you open the arms, they're stacked, <laughs> right? Look up, three. Breathing, twist, two, and on one. One more forward fold. So I'm gonna shift the weight into the front of my feet rather than being back in my heels so that my hips align a little more over ankles. Relax your head, hug your legs, and let go. Really good for the spine. Whew, decompressing the back, gentle shake of your head. Good. And then from here, let's keep the feet where they are and step your right foot out. And you can play with directions. I have two mats down just for the sake of the video, but you can work this out. Sometimes I like my blocks here, or you can use your hands. I have my feet really as wide as I can go, and they're parallel. Inhale up onto blocks, lift through the navel. Exhale, fold. So you could hold blocks and fold. You could bring your hands down. Prasarita Padottanasana A. I try to line up my fingers and toes and maybe even the crown of the head. Makes contact with the earth. We're very grounding. Some of us did this for our chakra work. You could place a block under your head. And breathe. And feel. Navel in. Sometimes I micro bend my knees just a little bit. And then I'm gonna come up slowly. Let's take one more twist. Left hand on the block or right under your face. Right arm up towards the sky. Let's just keep it here for now. And spin through the ribs, mid back. And change, right hand down. Twist left. And breathe. Engaging my legs best I can. I'm lifting up on my quadriceps. I'm not locking my knees, but the legs are strong. And then all the way back down. Good. Hands to hips. Engage your core. Let's come up together. Inhale. Exhale. Turn the front toes out. Bend your front left knee. Let's take warrior two. I'm going to wing my arms out to the side. For the sake of the video, I'll change directions again. So I'm going to bend that left knee. Track the knee over the ankle. Sit low. Wing your arms out. Good. Let's bring chin to chest and inhale, right ear to the right shoulder. In Vira two, exhale, chin to chest, left ear to the left shoulder. Sinking in deeper, chin to chest, roll the head back. Gentle on your neck, chin to chest, roll to the left. Relax shoulders, chin to chest. Come back up through center, deep lunge. Spine upright, make sure you're not Moving, right, the body forward. I'm gonna keep the spine upright. Arms level to the earth. And I'm gonna gaze right over my front fingertips. And hold for three. Hold for two. And on one, back up we come, okay? So now I'm gonna parallel the feet. I'm just gonna spin right foot around, deep bend of the knee. You can 
see in the video. You might want to film yourself at home even. <laughs> and send it to your family members for inspiration, you know? But anyway, you know, it's like, it's like the mirrors at JCC. You know, when you see yourself and you see your alignment, you can make little adjustments. So I'm going to lift pelvic floor, navel in. I'm not going to let my spine shift. It's upright, arms parallel to the floor. I'm going to drop my shoulders and look right over your front fingertips and breathe. Hold. Good. Maybe one more neck roll if you wish. Woo. It's a good one. All right. Only if it's comfortable though, otherwise skip it. And then we're gonna keep looking forward, charge up your arms. Great for your heart. Good, and up we come. All right, let's parallel the feet. Step or a light hop. Feet together. Pause in Tadasana. So Tadasana's mountain pose. You root the feet, ground the legs, lift the crown of the head, take any little movements you need. Oftentimes that energy will move on its own accord. And breathe. Feel your bubble, protective bubble, healing bubble of light. Sometimes I like to pick gold, a nice high vibrational color. You could pick any color of your choice. One more breath. Good, and one more balancing pose. Let's look at King Dancer, or what's called Natarajasana. So I'm gonna bend my right knee I'm gonna use my right hand and hold the inside of my ankle. It's helpful to not hold the outside because then my leg tends to kick out. So I'm gonna hold the inside of my ankle so that my leg kicks back. Ready? Left arm up, inhale. Really get your length here. And this could be the pose. I preface this a lot, that this is actually the pose. The variation is press back, reach forward. And I'm gonna point right between my eyebrows for three. Point and stretch. Two. And up we come. Really slow. Reground. Pull your energy back in. Limit fidgeting. Yogas Chitta Vritti Narodaha. Left palm up. Okay really ground into this right foot. I gotta make sure the foot is grounded. Bend the left knee, hold the inside of that ankle. Thighs together to start. Square your ribs forward. Right arm up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, kick back. If you want to take the variation, again, I'm gonna point right between my eyebrows. Sun is starting to set here. Three. Clear eyes. Two. And on one, up we come, reground. Again, balancing poses and standing poses, very good in these times of the unknown. Touch the earth, lift, chair. Really sit down low. I'm gonna have you bring your hands down. Let's take a seat into what's called Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, I'm gonna open out my knees. Here's where I do like my blocks. Sometimes I bring one to my ankles. Stack the second block high if you need. Some students may need two of these. You hinge forward from the hips and you make contact head down. So for me, I prefer this variation. Make sure it's nice and steady. So I'm putting my brow area, not my eyes, down. It's really good for a busy mind. <laughs> and then I hold my feet if I can. One more breath. I'm really hinging forward from my pelvis, creating that anterior tilt. And then I'm going to slide my legs in. Great for the core, Navasana. Scoop up your legs. Watch your spacing behind you, but I'm gonna lift my legs. I like to activate my toes and really spread them out. <laughs> I'll drop them down a little bit so you can see me, and then arms out. And I'm lifting my sternum up, 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 up. Really lifting. Legs can squeeze in towards each other. Three, activate the feet fingers. Two, sternum to the sky, feet 
come down, give yourself a hug, pull everything in. This is that time, it's an interesting window with the official start of spring and we're all being called to keep our energy inward, but take advantage of that time, you know, how can you charge yourself up to emerge even? I think this window is gonna bring out a lot of creativity in all of us. Like me, I've never made my first video. Here's my first video. You guys get to witness it. <laughs> okay, here's Navasana from the side, okay? Hug in, I'm gonna lift my legs. So option one, Keep the shin bones parallel to the floor, right? So this is really demanding on your back. If there's no back issues and you want more of a challenge, then straighten legs. And when I straighten legs, I like to take Kali Mudra. I interlace all my fingers, but I'm putting my pointer fingers and lifting them up, up, up. It's really good for strength. Three, lifting up, two, and one more time, I bend my knees. It's kind of like a child's pose. I hug, I'm trying to hold opposite forearms or elbows, and I curl in. And again, I come up. I'll face you again. One last little hip release here. It's called rock the baby. You can pull your right leg in. Some students like to bring the arms under and rock the leg this way. You could take it a step further and really hug your leg like a baby and rock. I'm trying to lift my chest at the same time and not hunch here. And then one little variation I like is I free up that hand, free up my right hand, and I'm gonna roll into my right hip, outer edges of my glutes. If I want a little more pressure, I roll back into my forearm and lift my opposite foot, and massage and circle in here. Take that leg out straight. Janu Sirshasana. Okay, bring the foot to the thigh. Inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, one of my favorite variations. You could strap the foot if you have one, it's handy. Or I frame with the blocks this foot. I lift and I lower. So that can help eradicate a lot of hunching. I'm trying to pull my chest forward and down can relax your neck and breathe. Forward folds, very cooling, cooling for the mind, okay? And back up we come. So Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Inhale, I'm gonna lift my left leg. And again, rock the baby or arms under. Which one feels most comfortable? I keep a little flexion in my foot. All right, hug. Ah. One hip will be very different than the other. <laughs> so be with what is, be with your body. I'm gonna free up my left hand. I'm gonna roll into this hip and explore. I'm gonna explore and massage into the superficial muscles, see if I can access some of the deeper muscles. Soft neck and jaw. Lots of breath. I found a good spot. <laughs> if you find a good spot, you can linger there a little longer. Sometimes one side of the body needs a little more. That's one advantage of a home practice, right? You can really steer it to what your body needs. So I'm gonna put these here. Janu Sirshasana, foot to the thigh. Back up just a tad. And inhale, I like the framing the foot option. I'm gonna lift my arms and bring my body straight over this leg. Janu Sirshasana. Shoulders back, I'm tilting forward as much as I can from my hips. And bow. And breathe. Inhale up slowly, blocks off to the side. Okay, good. So I'm gonna see if this works, I'm gonna lie back, readjust one of my mats, excuse me. And I'm gonna set up for shoulder stand. Oftentimes I teach with blankets for the sake of this video. I'm just gonna go right in for now, but I really recommend blankets. It's, it's a bit mm, more supportive of your cervical spine. 
It's also nice to maybe pull out ponytails. So shoulder stance, Sarvangasana. Really good, again, for your circulatory system, for your immune system, um, for a lot of amazing things. If you want to <laughs> peek at it, look up online. The benefits of shoulder stand, okay? It's called the queen of all the poses. So I'm going to rock back, and, you know, my, I feel like my back needs it. So I'm just going to take a few rock up and back. This is called Karnapidasana. Feels so good on the spine. So then I'm going to catch this one and go into shoulder stance. So I'm going to rock back, hands to my back. I'm going to lift my legs way up, way up. They're together. I want to look at my feet. I pull my abdominals in. And rather than my hands holding my hips, I'm going to walk my hands down, 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 down to my shoulder blades and really activate the legs. A good 10 to 20 breaths here. Look up at your feet or close the eyes and feel the impact of the pose. Then plow. Every pose, a lot of poses have counter poses. Halasana, I'm going to bring my legs overhead arms to the earth. If that's uncomfortable, you could bend your knees. And using your core strength, abdominals, really lower down. I love that. It's a nice back massage. <laughs> and then really slowly, you could grip the edges of your mat or just keep your arms down. And very, very slowly with control, lower legs for five, lower legs for four, Nice soft jaw, squeeze the legs together for two. You can hover just above your mat and look at your feet, maybe lift your arms, Ardha Navasana. <laughs> and relax. Okay, fish pose, Matsyasana. I'm gonna turn this way, a little different. So I'm gonna bring my arms underneath the body. Inhale, go ahead and lift. Look at your feet, scooch back. And as I exhale, I'm going to bring the crown of my head back. Legs are together. And I want to feel that kiss of my crown on the earth. So it puts an opposite stretch in the neck from shoulder stand, okay? Like that. One more breath. I'm going to use my neck strength. Look at my feet. Release my arms. Hug right knee in. Give it a good hug. Final twist, right knee to the left, slow twist to the right. And back to center, right leg down, left leg in, give it a good hug, inhale. Exhale, knee to the right, slow twist to the left, soft jaw. Inhale, slowly back to center. Apanasana, hug both legs. Final massage. Feel free to rock a little bit. You could circle the knees. And then slowly lower, left leg down. Right leg down. Clear out your props. If you have any wrist issues and you do have your blocks, sometimes it's nice to elevate the backs of your hands up. Really good for arthritis and carpal tunnel. And I'm going to start to settle here. Let you guys rest in Shavasana. It's always good to take a good five minutes. Minimal. <laughs> and your Shavasana. On our yoga retreat in Mexico, we gave students like 15 to 20 minute Shavasanas. So consciously relax your legs. Consciously relax your hips.
Consciously relax your low back, mid back, upper back. Relax your arms. Soften the throat. Soften your jaw, create a little space between your teeth. Soften the facial muscles. Relax your eyes. Relax your scalp. Let the focus drop inward. Soften the crown of your head. So the more you can relax consciously the bones and the muscles of the body, you can integrate, integrate the asanas. As you're resting, I'll sing you <laughs> one little mantra. That's the advantage of teaching from home, I have my instruments all here without lugging them up all those JCC stairs. to your right side, in fetal position, give yourself a hug, give yourself reassurance that you are half healthy and happy and loved. Come up to a final seat. Tall spine. 
I sometimes like to sit in what's called Virasana. I'm on my knees. You could also sit in a cross-legged position, which is referred to as Sukhasana. You can see my chakra chart here. The spine is nice and lined up. I let my hands rest in my lap, chin mudra. Set a clear intention of health and strength and wisdom. Reassuring yourself that all is well. All is well. And we can bring the hands to the heart in Anjali Mudra. We can close with three rounds for peace. Peace in our hearts and peace in our homes, peace in our world. We can really feel the impact, right, of our global community. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Thank you to everyone that has a chance to see this. Namaste. It went a little longer than I intended. I was going to make a half hour. <laughs> Hopefully I will see everyone in April. So I will be putting up some other videos, possibly through JCC again, maybe on my own. Just a quick plug. My website is mirabayoga.com. Um, but my website has a lot of events coming up that will be canceled now. <laughs> so I need to update it. A good way to get a hold of me may be through my email. I think a lot of you have it, mirabayoga at hotmail.com. Let me know if you are interested and I can put you on my email list to also receive some other online opportunities for teaching. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna offer some chanting and some meditations as well as yoga, um, neti pot. I'm sure a lot of you already know how to use it, but could be helpful at this time. Um, as well as some other nuggets. So write me if you wish. Be well. I miss you all. I trust you are all well. Okay. Namaste.